I'm Andy Gibbs, and I'm joined today by Andrew Weston. Uh, we are both senior consultants with Summerford Associates. Summerford are premier partners of uh, Security Scorecard and an elite Splunk partner. In fact, Summerford have built a portfolio of products and services designed to assist organisations deliver changes in services and technology whilst mitigating risk. We're a partner with a range of industry leaders um, to provide tailored end-to-end -end solutions to our customers using expert consultants who are experienced at implementing and supporting our solutions. So this means we can support customers through a whole process from initial discussion to proof of concept and implementation, followed by ongoing support from our service desk. Uh, we also provide professional services to a high security level and can project manage initial deployments and business upgrades for organizations who require it. We're part of both G Cloud and DOS3 frameworks and many others, enabling public sector organizations to procure these easily and efficiently. Um, today, Andrew and I would like to talk to you about managing the security risks that your supply chain are presenting to your organization. So we'll look at how security scorecard and its integration with Splunk can help with this process. So your organization is the hub of a network of business services. These have become increasingly dependent upon IT for their delivery. And like most organizations, increasing demands for new technology and services are driving you to buy these in as a service. There are clear business operational and financial advantages from doing so. However, this means our vital business data and IT assets are much more exposed to threats and vulnerabilities of our suppliers and those of their supply chain over whom we've much less direct control. And sadly, recent industry reports have shown that nearly 70% of breaches result from poor third party security. Aware of this, industry regulators and standards bodies are now actively seeking evidence of security best practice in our supply chain management. In the past, traditional supplier management programs have tended to rely on lengthy supplier security questionnaires and or supplier audits. I know from personal experience this approach only provides a single snapshot in time of the supplier's performance and the supplier's responses are often evasive and, should we say, open to misinterpretation. It's also a laborious and very time-consuming um, exercise. And because it's extremely demanding on resources, both in procurement and IT functions, it's just not cost-effective to monitor any more than your very critical suppliers. So there's got to be a better way, and there is, if we look at sec what Security Scorecard can do to help us here. So Security Scorecard provides a simple evidence-based way of assessing the security posture of your key digital services suppliers. It generates a normalized score for each supplier, helping to guide your remedial action plan. It does this by gathering inputs from a number of intelligence sources, including unintrusively monitoring your supplier's online security posture. It will align any vulnerabilities found with threat intelligence data to identify the degree to which your organization is exposed. When shortcomings are identified, a technical critique is provided, along with helpful suggestions for putting the problem right. This allows you to more fully identify the issue with your supplier, so they are able to understand the basis of your concerns and help them resolve the issue promptly. Security Scorecard, in fact, encourages a collaborative workflow approach, allowing your suppliers to participate in your security management program with you. Your supplier can be invited to track their own scorecard, directly access their own technical critiques, and monitor improvements in their score with you. And you remain in control at all times, You'll receive regular alerts from Security Scorecard informing you when the supplier scores have improved or deteriorated, allowing you to respond to changes 
in your supplier threat landscape as they happen. So this has got a number of organisational benefits. Full life cycle monitoring of supplier security performance, providing evidence-based supplier assurance levels. It can provide faster validation and onboarding of new suppliers. Timely alerts, driving a prompt call to action. True supplier collaboration in removing vulnerabilities before they become incidents. And more effective use of resources in the supply ma management program. Summerford Associates has adopted security scorecard ourselves, applying it to our own supply base, using the scorecard to drive our own supplier security improvement program. In doing this, we've been able to achieve a near 100% score in under six months. The tool has allowed us to track ours and our suppliers' progress on fixing the issues using simple trend graphs and reporting this to interested stakeholders week on week. In doing so, we've eradicated a whole bunch of technical issues in our supply base to which we were previously unaware. Furthermore, we found that responsible suppliers have openly welcomed the constructive feedback together with helpful guidance notes on remediation, often using this as a valuable input to their own continual improvement programs. Okay, so let's look at this um, live now, a bit more depth. So here's our, our very own dashboard. This is live. And you can see that our own um, security scorecard rating is up at 100%. Now, if we want to, we can at any time look at how um, individual companies are affecting um, our portfolio and affecting our score, therefore. And we, you can see that the... Um, Second uh, box we've got here shows an overall rating of B amongst our supply chain. And when we look at the breakdown of who's contributing well or otherwise to that, we can see that 36% um, of our companies are contributing with an A score. We've got 20% roughly with a B score, etc. And there's an area here of... Um, 10% of companies who are frankly not helping us very well at the moment. So what we can do at any time is look at our portfolio and I've got a demo portfolio. This, this one is not our actual demo. I've put some names you might well know and trust in here. People like Microsoft, YouTube, there is at us in there, SAP, Google, Apple, etc. And you can see here how each of those organizations is scoring in our use of their services at the moment. And um, so some obvious things we can do with this, for example, is to um, order them rank in best to worst or worst to best. Um, so that's great. And we can see that, for example, with with YouTube, um, we clearly have some issues that may result need resolving. We've got a D score with them. So let's drill down there and have a look. And now you can see some of the um, attributes that score go into the scoring mechanism. So you've got network security, DNS health, patching cadence, endpoint security, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. And I've actually opened up the application security to see what the areas of concern are. And you can see here you've got high severity, medium severity, and low severity issues. And if I, for example, look at the medium severity, I can see that this um, organization has problems with cross-site scripting challenges. So again, you can drill down into the information to understand how much of an issue this is for them. Um, and it will actually take you down to the URLs that were scanned that contributed to the score that we can see here and provide sufficient um, information for the supplier now to take this information away and go hopefully go and resolve it for you. And in fact, there are facilities within the software for you to download this as a report and share it with them or even invite the supplier to share this screen and this part of your supply um, monitoring yourself. Okay, so that's just a very quick potted view of, of the, the software itself. What I'd like to do now is hand you over to Andrew Weston, who will talk to you about the um, integration with Splunk. 
Um, so going forward from where Andy left off, so this is in Security Scorecard, and as you can see, whilst our main Summerford Associates domain is 100, um, we've got another domain, summerford.eu, uh, which is at 99, up 11. So there's an issue there that we're still looking at and trying to understand. But really, if you've got Splunk or you've seen Splunk, um, this information pulled together with a lot of other data you may already have in your organization um, would be very useful. So if we flip into Splunk, um, you should be able to see some data coming across. Um, although it's not really interesting, we monitor our own score through Splunk. So you should see this coming up. This is the summerfordassociates.com. Um, so it was down at 99 back on May the 7th, and we've got it back up to 100. You can obviously change that to the summerford.eu quite easily. So this is a good way of actually, as part of your overall monitoring, looking at your own um, status within security scorecard and you can see down the left the the various factors that andy talked about network security dns and so forth um, what's more interesting for a lot of companies is to monitor um, in terms of vendor risk management but they're their top critical vendors um, and you can do like most things in splunk you can change the time uh, line for that so if we look at this for the last three maybe quarters let that come up and then you can see you can see trending there's some gaps in this because we've, it's obviously on one of our test systems um let's go back to the last quarter it gives you a bit more data here so you can see for example uh what's that one there you can have a look at splunk and so or that's octa you can look at any of these and actually see whether they're trending upwards or downwards you could obviously create alerting on this if it drops below uh, a particular threshold that you might have set. And then what's actually more interesting is where you've got various issues that um, Andy highlighted, for example, around YouTube. What you can actually see um, down on the right-hand side is you've got two further boxes that talk about any new findings that may have appeared for the various companies you're monitoring. And then also on the third panel, whether they're resolved issues um, so on here you can see all the different colors so that's Splunk, Sophos, Okta, uh, Google and with most of these things again if you're familiar with Splunk you can take one of these and say I want to see the issues or the actual events that contributed to Splunk.com and then you're actually into the into the SPL you can write SPL around this and actually look at the individual events that are making up that actual overall panel um, so a lot of people are taking this information now and actually monitoring companies it's not just people doing vendor risk management and trying to automate that process which is very laborious if you're down to emails and spreadsheets um, but uh, some some companies are monitoring potential companies they might invest with so wealth management companies are, are using security scorecard to track um, people that they might be investing in going forward and monitoring them and getting alerts if they drop below, say, a B level. Um, so they're becoming much more interactive. Um, so like a lot of things with Splunk, if the data is available, you can pull it in. There is a, an app for security scorecard on Splunk Base, um, which we've been playing with and using ourselves. Um, and that's relatively new. It only came out in the last few months. Um, but that I think it's going to be very interesting going forward to pull that data in with everything else you have. Um, so really, that's all. I just wanted to show you the data coming across really into Splunk and showing there is an integration available. At which point, I think I've covered what I wanted to cover. I'll hand you back to Andy. Well, look, I hope you've enjoyed today's presentation. So we are members of a number of um, industry associations, including the uh, ADS, which is an aerospace defence um organization ukiza and tech uk we would like to lay out a credential cyber essentials plus um, so we are hopefully not just doing it by accident um, and as you've heard through our presentation today we are monitoring ourselves through security scorecard and strive to maintain an a rating ourselves 
And this is quite an important thing, I think, as time goes on for suppliers to be able to um, include their security scorecard rating um, as a part of their credentials presentation to the outside world. So thank you for watching and listening. Um, if you want to contact us, you can contact us by email at info at summerfordassociates.com or by phone 01793 um, We also run a series of other webinars and events, so they can be checked out also on www.summerfordassociates.com slash events.